More left-wing politicians are coming out to call for open borders, not just for economic migration, but continued access for so-called asylum seekers. And it's time for us to say enough is enough. Now, I know we don't really take the Liberal Democrats seriously, but their ideology continues to spread. And whatever they say, the others in the Green Party and the Labour Party and the SNP and everybody else would follow. That's the whole point of left-wing liberalism. It doesn't really matter if the Lib Dems are winning at the elections or not, but their ideology continues to go around and be promoted. So now we have a situation where the argument around economic migration has not really been had yet properly. Because when politicians are now conservatives are saying um, we should sort out illegal migration, I say, good, I agree. But we also have a problem with massive and mass legal migration, mass legal economic migration. That needs to also stop now. We've gone too far. We have to look after our own people first and we have to help other countries, developing countries, to become prosperous so they don't have to come here, so that we don't drain their brain and their talent. Having said that, we are also been hearing that if you want to sort out the legal migration, if you want to stop the boats, then you need to create more legal and safe routes for asylum seekers. No, we shouldn't. Stop. Enough is enough. That we're not there's some sort of open Disneyland or some sort of sweet shop for everybody in the world who has a problem. Asylum seekers, refugees should be an exception. Always had, had, was supposed to be an exception, especially when you're on the other side of the continent of Europe, as the United Kingdom is. It's not like we're neighboring countries, it's a conflict zone. It's the responsibility of neighbors to help the other neighbors. Anyway, we have Lib Dem politicians uh, like Hophouse coming out to say that, well, the government finally admits what we knew all along. Only by opening up safe and legal routes will we solve the problem of illegal migration. Punishing the desperate refugees risking everything to get here does nothing but compound the misery. Compassion or not contempt is the way forward. They are economic migrants who are giving thousands of pounds to people smugglers to bring them here from the safe country of France and you're calling them vulnerable refugees. Are you kidding me with this? So, let's talk about the truth. The whole thing started because Tim Farron asked a question from a minister. Tim Farron in Parliament. Farron asked to ask the Secretary of State for the Home Department what is the, the, the quickest and the slowest time for the communicating um, for communicating an asylum decision for an application made in the um, the United Arab Emirates for Afghan nationals who is a spouse to of another Afghan national already granted asylum in the UK in the latest period for which data is available. So he's talking about those who have relatives here who are already um, asylum seekers and been accepted. And he was talking about the Afghans specifically because it will help his argument. Because obviously, because of the fall of Afghanistan, everybody would use the Afghan refugees as a, as a case study. The majority of uh, the, the, the so-called asylum seekers or illegal migrants are not from Afghanistan, by the way. Anyway, we have uh, Robert Jenrick, minister, saying, There is no provision within our immigration rules for someone to be allowed to travel to the UK to claim asylum or temporary refuge or make a claim for asylum or protection from abroad. Therefore, the information request does not exist. So, Robert Renrick said the right thing, saying that, well, and there are now the, the, the current, the new rules that we have, you can't travel to the UK and claim asylum. You can't even do it from abroad. Basically, you shouldn't do it. <laughs> the UK has made an ambitious and generous commitment to help relocate at-risk people in Afghanistan. So, yeah, helping relocate them, helping them get out, and keeping them in a safe new place doesn't necessarily mean London, doesn't necessarily mean England, could be somewhere else near Afghanistan, could be Turkey, right? Or anywhere else. We've done that. But it shouldn't be, you shouldn't be able to easily uh, claim asylum. And those who have done it in the past, it should always be an exception. It should always be uh, the cases they should, you can't really promote, advertise as a country that we are open to asylum seekers. It, it, it makes no sense. It's just wrong tactics, a bad strategy. But the, the political left don't get it because they keep claiming to be compassionate and humanitarian idiots. So they don't really see the world as it is. They see the world as in their heads, a fantasy utopia. 
saying, well, if anybody needs help from the other side of the planet, we have to help them. If only things were that easy, but it's not. We have flags and borders for a reason. Anyway, the Politics UK and all the left-wing media and social media accounts freaked out, saying, oh, the government has now admitted that there is no provision for allowing an asylum seeker to claim asylum in the UK. Yeah, about time. Well done, government. Finally, you made some changes. You shouldn't be able to claim asylum. This is also helping Swala Ravnan's case. So if you cross the English Channel, come here and say, I want to claim asylum. You can't. Bye. Get on the plane. That's the new plan. And they're all having a meltdown, saying we need open borders for asylum seekers. What do you mean? We have millions and millions, but basically billions of people around the world who, if they have a choice, if you go and advertise to the world saying, hello, we are Britain. We are now open for applications for asylum. You know what's going to happen? Half of them are either end up kind of walk or get on a boat to come here or go on a plane. The other half will stay outside and pick up the phone and say, can I apply for asylum? Do you realize it's not sustainable? You can't go around as a country and advertise that your country is open for asylum seekers. <laughs> it makes no sense. You have to discourage it so that when a special case happens, then you just sort it out case by case. If it's a genuine asylum seeker, if it's someone genuinely in need, like how my mother was a political refugee in Iran, the British embassy helped her. It, it, they didn't go around and advertise saying, oh, we helped this woman to save her. Everybody else, are there any other women out there and mothers who want to be held? You can't do that. It's just not sustainable. Then I get attacked by the left saying, well, your mother was a political refugee. You don't want the others to do it. Well, because that's just not how it works. You can't really go. Even my mother doesn't want to go out there and promote the, 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 the actual option that sometimes the British embassy might help you. You can't. Otherwise, everyone's going to go outside British embassy and knock on the door saying, can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> That's not how the world works. Anyway, uh, we'll uh, make some changes to, and uh, hopefully, as a government, uh, to these laws, and we'll see how everything goes with Suella Bravan's plan. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Maya TVC, and we are the media.